So right here we have a MacBook M2 and we have some S-Log footage from this camera that I'm using right now. It is the Sony a7 IV. So we use S-Log around 60 frames per second. Let's see normal playback and then put it into Premiere Pro and do a quick test with the footage, see what we can and cannot do. So this for example is some example playback from S-Log footage for example. So it seems to be going pretty strong, no lag. There's me just having a good time, just doing an example of what we should do, for example. All right, seems pretty good at the moment, to be honest with you. S-Log footage, not too bad. Seems to be zero lag at the moment as well, which is pretty damn cool. What you can do with S-Log footage just directly inside the MacBook, no extra storage or anything. Smooth playback overall, pretty happy with it. All right, so now let's drag and drop straight into Premiere Pro and let's go for it. All right, so now dragging and dropping, there's about 20 items. How are we going with import? Straight inside of the M2. This is a 16 gigabyte of RAM as well with the Premiere Pro. So just letting you guys know what the gigabyte of RAM is, just in case you want to know about specs. All right, so this is the footage. Let's see playback. So this is currently a quarter. Not too bad, actually, at all. Let's go half. Still no lag at the moment, of course. Pretty good. Now let's try full. Pretty damn good. It is playing back really well. I'm very, very impressed. Now let's try color grading. So we go into our Lumetri color options, for example. Let's see how we go. And boom. We've got our auto options, for example. Or if you want, you could do some sort of color grades if you like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. You go in the creative panel and you've got all of these presets or you could just have your own presets for example I just want to sort of test around and see the playback on full what it is like pretty good pretty cool so right here we got a large amount of footage we got let's see 53 minutes worth of footage let's do a quick export test with 53 minutes worth of s-log footage Let's see how long it would take to export one of these. Let's have a go. Let's see, just quickly. All right. 20 minutes, 40 seconds, up to 24 minutes. Let's have a look, 25. And it's still about half the amount of time of the complete footage to actually export this, which is very good. Very, very good sign. So it is increasing a little bit more. That's pretty cool. So 20 mi 27 minutes for 53 minutes. So it is half the amount of time of the footage completely to be able to export just about. It is increasing a little bit, but over time it will come out with the complete amount. So it looked like the total amount is around 28 minutes, maybe 29 minutes. It's pretty cool. I'm interested. Will it increase more? It looked like 20 mi 29 minutes was its limit. Potentially, it's, it's increasing and then decreasing. There we go. So there we go. So we've decreased down to 28 minutes. So that's about half the amount of total time. That's pretty good. So, for example, if we want to slow down the footage, how is the playback with Premiere Pro? Let's have a look. So if we go speed and duration, let's say we want to slow this down by half how is it going to handle it seems to handle it actually just okay just okay i know this isn't a 60 frame per second clip but i just wanted to see with the playback it seems fine on full which is a really good sign so i'm pretty happy with that and then for example let's try reversing the footage how we go with reversing So it needs to, there we go. So it's already done it, which is really good. Let's have a look. There we go. 
Interesting. Pretty good. There is a little bit of choppiness and lag. But overall, seems to be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, it seems to be A-OK -okay now. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So, you get full playback on footage, for example. Seems pretty smooth. The playback, as long as it's inbuilt, no external storage. Everything's just inbuilt. Even with 16 gigs of RAM, pretty smooth playback overall. Half the amount of time to export footage. Really good for pro users who film an S-Log, they want to edit inside of Premiere Pro. Overall, I am pretty happy with this.